you know, you, you remember GCSE results day. Oh, yeah. And um, you uh, were disappointed with the grade that you got. Really you were about upset. two marks off an A star. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, you're really upset about that. And, um, you know, I said to you, you know, don't worry, you know, it's going to be fine. Yeah. Smash your A levels. And you're, you know, you say, I'll oh, probably wouldn't be able to go to a Russell Group University now. Two A stars, six A's, and three B's. It was something like that, like a kind of a wide range of um, grades. But I think the resilience was that I knew I had potential, and it would be such a shame to kind of let that go. If I had the teachers rooting for me, so especially Mr. Milan, and you know, I knew that I could do it myself. There really wasn't a reason why why I shouldn't have put the work in. But radar. thinking back to how you were in year 12 and you know, start of year 12, end of year 11, your your confidence was 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 quite low, yeah, wasn't it? Massively. You know, um, because you were so set. Was it? You know, I think you saw it as your favourite subject, GCSE. It was exactly. like you know, A star. That's the bank. That's yeah. what I want to go on and study and mm -hmm. and, and things like that. And um, you know, we always say in education that you almost have to set up failure for students so that they can build that resilience yeah. and um, making mistakes is all part of the learning process or that productive failure you learn mm. so much from that and I think you really yeah. you really did and that meant that you weren't complacent when it came to the A levels exactly. year 13 you, you like didn't go out no, you know you, you, you were you really were working hard. so yeah. so hard really you, felt, hard. you know you know things can go wrong yeah, you know exactly. and so that made you cover all of the bases yeah. I think and um, yeah I've never known a more hard working mm. A-level student oh. they, no, I haven't. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's impossible but I think we kind of underestimate how much of an influence teachers have um, regardless of university I think just on our educational experiences anyway so I think especially when I was applying to Cambridge I think that's when I realised it, I, I really felt that he kind of went beyond the bounds of just being, you know, a teacher who, you know, treated it as a day-to-day -day professional job. Um, it really was about how, you know, I can kind of expand my academic bounds and, you know, be really good at history, which I think I really appreciated and I kind of wanted to give that back. My philosophy was always, whatever child comes into my class, whatever ability they've got, I want to make them love and adore history. And I think what we tried to do in a lot of our lessons, you know, for Chelsea, obviously one of the most academic, one of the best students, but even, you know, the students who were less able, we always were very inclusive. We tried to make history fun. Yeah. We tried to make jokes about the past and see, you know, how, you know, how we could make it interesting. I think that if you're going off to university, you have to love your subject. You know, you can be academic, you can pass you know, every single exam under the sun, but you have to be, have to love it. Yeah. And that's very much what you, you did. You know, you really, you really stood out because you, you, you had that sort of intrinsic um, passion for history. You know, Chelsea had been emailing me um, about sort of the preparation. And so I knew that she was going to email me and I just remember getting the email and it not really being in, in English. It was more O's and R's and um, uh, I was like, okay. And then, and then there was an offer which was misspelled, which isn't like you. Uh, so, yeah, offer. so I thought, oh okay. Oh my God. We, we've got a result here. It's, it's so weird being back. I mean, I haven't been back to school for about three years now. And I was saying to Charles, I, like I thought it would have changed a bit more. <laughs> It hasn't changed, um, but it's nice to be back and, you know, on the way in as well, like seeing all the teachers and getting big hugs and kisses. So um, it, is, it is really nice to be back.